when we're going after crap data, that's like catching rats. Get and transform is the rat trap. A rat trap can kill rats. It can break your fingers. We're going to talk today about how you could easily break your fingers trying to trap crap data and how to avoid it. Here's our source data. Seven teams. The team members are all in the same cell with the team name. So team five, Dana, Bill, Drew, and Tina. Okay, we would like to get it all stacked up like we have it over here in these two columns. But watch what happens that might break our fingers. I'm gonna add Sam to team one and add Jody to team three. Let's hit refresh. First of all, notice that this column is longer. Both columns picked up Jody. The second column picked up Sam. Now let's look at what happened. Data, queries and connections. Let's look at this query. Here's the source data and it does have Sam and Jody. Okay, we go down here and at the split by delimiter step, let's look at it. Getting transform inserted a five right there on its own. Okay, now it automatically updated itself and added a six. Let's look at this. But we had to go back to that step and fix it at that step. We couldn't just refresh. So let's go back. Let's add another name. Gene. Refresh. This column grabbed Gene. This one didn't. Let's hit refresh again. This first column is not going to grab Gene unless we go back to that step. Now, let's look at what we have to do in order to integrate new data that goes beyond that set number of columns. In a data set from table slash range, I'm going to right click transform lowercase all right we're doing this because we need a formula right the formula is there but we're going to modify it instead of text dot lower highlight that and put in splitter dot split text by delimiter open parentheses double quote, comma, space, double quote, close parentheses. Okay, now this is turned into a list. Let's click on one of these. Okay, this just says list, but down below it shows team two and the people who are in team two. Let's go down to six. Okay, those are the people in team six. So our next goal is to get this data out of the list and show it as a table. First, we got to transform this into a proper list. Transform. Highlight. Convert to list. Now convert it into a table. I don't need any delimiters here. Just click OK. Now expand to new rows. Now there is our data all stacked up. We just have to separate the team names from the people. Add a column, conditional column. If column one begins with team, then column one. Otherwise, null. Okay. Right click and fill down. Now filter out anything in column one that says team. Shh. 
show rows where column one does not begin with team. Okay. Move the column over. Now let's close and load it. Close and load two. Let's put it right here. Okay. Now we've got team eight with a whole mess of people. So what's going to happen when we hit refresh? What's going to happen when we set that rat trap? Data, refresh all. Let's go and look. That's it. See, all of our data is here. Except the one time canned way did not go beyond that set number of columns this way of using a list is the way to go that is how you trap crap data and not your finger